Tom Deckers has 30 years' experience in fruit production and is currently head of the Department of Pomology in the research station of fruit growing PC Fruit in St. Truid in Belgium. The focus of Tom's current work is on new strategies for fruit set improvement and fruit thinning, pruning and training systems for new and existing varieties, in high density plantings, and irrigation and fertigation of pears. Tom has hosted many visits of Australian growers to PC Fruit and is always willing to share his skills and knowledge with the local industry. One of the key areas they have to think about here when uh, looking to their orchards is that they should uh, not rely only on the existing structures. I think one of the very important points is that they think about future. Mm -hmm. And uh, During the days here there was a discussion on the need of renewing the orchards in a certain percentage. Anyway, they should do some renewing, as well on apple as on pears, but there must be a future. Everybody should ask himself where he should be within the next five or ten years. And then, uh, even when there is no money immediately available, they should have an answer how to create the possibility to do some new plantings and uh, the new plantings then will bring on new fresh money that they can bring in. I see that for pear growing, for example, there is uh, an interesting uh, experience existing already in uh, Tatura V systems. So uh, this is one of the items they can elaborate uh, further, adapt to more modern systems. One of the good systems that we have for very intensive pear growing in Northern Europe is this V system. It's labor intensive, but also afterwards it brings a lot of uh, kilograms of good uh, high percentage pecking out class one. And this is important. So they don't start, uh, they need to, to 10 hectares at once, but then they just start with some small plots of some hectares to go in this direction. And then they will learn to work with the system learn to manage the trees in these intensive systems. Mm -hmm. There is a way to run uh, when we talk about planting material in Australia. There is still an improvement. I've seen this uh, time good uh, well feathered two-year-old apple trees but also for the pear trees there is a need for having this good planting material available and good planting material for a pear tree is at least a two-year-old tree with six uh, feathers on it so that you can make a choice, whatever the system you choose, a free spindle, free solac system or a V system or wherever you go, you have the right planting material available. And one of the important points there is that there is, should be a better relationship between the fruit tree nursery and the fruit growers themselves. The fruit tree nursery has to produce the fruits that the fruit growers need. And so the fruit growers have to ask two years in advance what they need for planting two years later. So this relationship is surely uh, something that can be improved in uh, your country. Very successful fruit grower in Belgium is a fruit grower that is in his orchard all the time. Not only himself, but also other people of the family. Many orchards have father and son and one or two sons in the orchard and they all are running in the orchard not to do all the thing themselves but to supervise it and this is very important that uh, from this way there is a, fo a short follow-up of the different measures that they're taking and it counts for pruning, this counts for fruit thinning, this counts for nutrition, this counts for irrigation, counts for the different uh, phytotechnical measures that have to be undertaken. The most successful uh, fruit growers in Belgium have orchards that they follow up from very short. Uh, mostly it is a familial structure that is behind these orchards. That means that the father and one or two sons are together in the business and they follow up each of the measurements uh, very short themselves. It's not the pruning team that coming to do the pruning and that the owner himself is giving only once instructions and then is away for weeks. They're following up very short and it's for the different measures. Not only for the pruning, also for nutrition, for planting, for uh, spraying, irrigation. All the different things are followed up very closely. 
I think this is one of the bases of the good fruit growers. By putting in this effort uh, themselves, they will see the result also coming out. And the most decisive parameter finally for a fruit grower is the percentage of class one fruit that they produce. Whatever it is, apple or pear, this is the decisive factor for being a good orchard or a less good one. You should start with the good planting material. This is point number one. And good planting material means virus-free material, virus-free variety, virus-free rootstock on the right uh, preparation. When you plant a V system, you need the feathered two-year-old trees to start with. It makes no sense that you start a V system with an unfeathered whip. It will take you two, three years uh, delay in productivity. So it is very important when you decide to plant a new orchard, as well for apples as for pears, that you have an early productivity, that you have a return of your money that it has been invested in these intensive structures. And so the planting material is there a very crucial point. I think the key feature for a high production in a pear orchard is start with the right planting material. And right planting material means, first of all, the virus status of the plant material, as well the variety on the rootstock should be both virus-free. And then the second place the, should be the right planting material for the system you've chosen. It makes no sense that you plant a whip in a V system. When you go for a V system, you should go, you should start from a two-year-old uh, pear tree with at least four equal feathers to go on. Then you have one trunk, your four feathers on the trunk that will be able to bring your productivity in the second year, third year after planting at, lay, at latest. So this is uh, very important to have an early return on your investment you made. And this depends on the quality of your material at start. The most important thing when pruning a pear orchard is understand what your tree is showing you to do. And uh, there are a lot of theories about pruning in this way or pruning in another way. One of the essential structures when talking about pruning is the flower bud structure itself. So by planting, starting a well-feathered tree, you have the flower bud development the, second, the first year after planting. Bring you the, food, the fruits, the first fruits, the second year after planting. And this flower bud structure will tell you afterwards how it uh, works on. You should control vegetative behavior of the trees. This is a very important point in comparison with your generative evolution, which is your productivity of the trees. Mm -hmm.